my name is Angela Kirby Ware, and the next instructional design principle we're going to talk about is metacognition. Metacognition is an instructional principle that shows students what it is that you're thinking, providing students with an example on how they should think about their thinking. We see that a lot through the use of think alouds, think, pair, share, giving students some wait time, and then also showing them what it is that you're thinking. How do you solve a problem? When teachers articulate how they are going about that process, students pick up on that language and they internalize that language. Collection is another word that we need to know for this lesson. What in the world is a collection? Put that answer in your brain. Mental, mental, mental math time. There's some vocabulary that we need to know before we continue with the lesson. If the children are familiar with the vocabulary, there's more success. Do any of you have a collection at home? Can I help you? My son Thomas collects marbles. So he has a special place under his bed that he has this tin and he has all different kinds of marbles in there. Does he have bottle caps in there? No. no. If the teacher articulates how he or she is understanding that content, it allows the students to attach to those supports. So this is what I would do to solve this problem. I would first look, like Quincy said, at the whole numbers. I know that five is the largest one. Okay, so I'm gonna write this number first. Their own verbalizations, their own thought processes, how they understand the text. Many of our students can actually do the work, but at times they need to verbalize the work. This step's correct, what would be next? And they verbalize that to us. Um, multiply 30 times 4. I love the activities. I love that the students are thinking about thinking and they're telling me what they're thinking about. They're telling me their strategies or they're telling me why they figured out the answer or how they figured it out, what materials they use. They're discussing their answers. They're discussing the reasons why they came up with answers. Let's, let's start out with a little mental math. Close your eyes and use your minds. No paper, no pencil. Just close your eyes. I'm going to give you about 30 seconds. Think about how you solve that problem, how you're doing that in your brain. And what you're going to do is just tell me the answer and then explain why you got that answer. You have to um, do addition, so I added it and I got 90 degrees. Hey, Mr. Hample changed it up on us. We're dealing with thousands. So how do you think we would draw a thousand? Um, I use think alouds through, throughout my lesson. It tells them this is what they should be thinking when I release them back to their team. So even if the answer is wrong, and you know that they're thinking about something, then it's better that you can shift your way of teaching so that they can understand exactly what you're trying to teach them. Research has demonstrated for us that metacognitive approaches increase student learning. Metacognition is another design principle. And we challenge you to include metacognitive strategies in your daily lesson planning and delivery. 